Hello. Oh, okay. So it was just a little too far. Sorry. That was probably so loud. I am so sorry. All right. So we're good. We're clear. We're back up. I'm actually going to unmute myself for a second so I can make sure the level is okay. That is very, very, very differently loud. Is that... Is that my fucking mic? Is it that quiet? I... Hold on a second. Hello. Hello. Or hold on, is it... No, it's not that. What is going on right now? What is going on right now? Just bear with me, people. I'm... Oh, wait, hold up. Just bear with me, people. I'm... Oh, wait, hold up. That's better. Oh, wait, hold up. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to assume we're good now. Okay, so I'm going to assume we're good now. Okay, so I'm going to assume we're good now. I'm going to mute that again. And I'm going to... Okay, now, see, here's the thing. I'm going to turn the music back on. Or not. No music. Music's not allowed. So, anyway, it's been... Uh, 15 days since my last stream, something like that. Uh, and, you know, there's there's been some developments. There's been some stuff going on. Uh, let me just update you real quick. Uh, my, I, my, uh, my stove and oven just stopped working. Just randomly decided, you know what? I don't want to function anymore and just fucking offed itself. I accidentally stepped on a bunny while I was tending my vineyard. I hope the bun is okay. Goodbye. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, I fucking... So, I put in a maintenance request, because I'm like, Hey, maintenance, I need you to come, like, look at my fucking stove. Figure out what's going on. So, they show up, and they're fucking around with it. Um, okay, hold on. First of all, this is, this is an important... This is actually important to the story. They show up... To, like the next day you know I put in that request at like 10 11 o'clock in the morning I even called the office because I was like hey this is kind of an emergency maintenance request I only have cookable food and I kind of need my fucking stove and oven to you know do that and maintenance or and the office is like somebody should be out there today yeah Maintenance shows up the next day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And they're fucking with it. And at first they're like, yeah, he needs a new stove, he needs a new stove. And then one, there were two maintenance men. One of them goes and checks the breaker box. He's like, maybe the breaker just tripped. And I'm like, no, the breaker didn't trip. Because the light indicator for the stove top comes on. Just the plates won't heat up or anything. I have an electric stove. He goes, oh, I'm going to go check the breaker. He goes and checks the breaker, and he concludes that it's not the stove, it's the breaker. Because uh, the stove is only getting half the wattage it should. I think wattage is the right term to use there. So he goes, so we gotta, we're gotta, we going to have to replace that breaker. I go, okay, how long will that take? He goes, well, let me go see if we have the part on site. If not, we're going to have to order it, and we'll replace it when it comes. I go, okay, it's fine with me. Uh... So he goes, okay, so we'll be back. And they leave. Come back ten minutes later. He goes, yeah, we don't have the part on site. So we're going to have to order it. I go, okay, how long will that take? He goes, well, it'll either be here tomorrow, on Friday, or sometime next week. I go, okay, so I'm eating either tomorrow or a week from now. Got it. Thanks. Uh, so he leaves. Comes back later. Uh, 
I don't know why he came back. I don't remember. Oh, that's, they forgot something uh, in the stove when they were checking it out. So I'm talking to him. I go, hey, so do you... Is there any updated information on that piece? He goes, not yet, but also it could be the stove. And I'm like, well, hold on, you just spent so long saying it was the breaker, and now you're saying it could be the stove. Which is it? He goes, well, the breaker is definitely burnt out, but we won't know if the stove also needs to be replaced until we get the breaker. I go, okay. So let's say that the stove is also burnt out and they need a new stove. How long will that take? He goes, well, that's a part, that's something we definitely don't have on site. We'll have to order that, and that'll be about a week or two. And I go, okay. So... The range for me eating food in my own home has gone from one night to a week to one night or three weeks. Thanks. So I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> it's just like, the fuck my guy? Actually, give me a second. I gotta check something. BRB! Sorry, right, just had to make sure my front door was locked. Okay. So, I'm like, great, I'm gonna have to go over to my parents just to fucking eat for like, potentially three weeks. That's wonderful. I'll give my mom plenty of opportunities to rub my nose and shit. They go over there. Yesterday. Eat. That was a pretty. It was a pretty good day, you know. I took some laundry over. You know, did some laundry, had some dinner, saw the dogs, played with the cats, shit like that. But the entire time, there's just like I get home, and there's just like this fucking like bomb in the back of my head that's just constantly ticking, just like you know, no ability to cook, no ability to cook, no ability to cook, no ability to cook. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I understand that I am potentially going to starve to death before I get a step. I accept this fact. It is okay. <laughs> I, I also, uh, I got a job uh, as an editor. Yeah. Not really a job, but like it's something. Uh, for a buddy of mine, his name is Dark Majora on here on Twitch. Uh, and actually, the first YouTube video that I edited for him is going live tomorrow, so that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty proud of it. I thought it turned out pretty good.
What else is there? What else has happened in my life in the last two weeks? Oh, I turned 26. Oh, do you, Framdello? Egg. Egg boy. Grandpapa. doing with what am I doing with 15 blueberries I don't understand have I already done the summer crops bundle that's the pantry I have so why do I have blueberries I've already done the foraging bundle Are you? <laughs> yep, we're lost. Hi. Why, yes. So we just don't know why. Gotcha. Oh, 
it's not a bother, I assure you. Nothing would make me happy. Promise. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ho, oh, your Hades. So you're the new farmer who's moved into the valley. My sister mentioned you in one of her letters. You've been really helpful, Hades. We really appreciate it. It's quite embarrassing, really, forgetting the whereabouts of your own hometown. All right, then. I think we better go. See you around, Hades. So you're telling me... You're telling me you dropped my crockpot because you were excited for a phone call from some lottery. Now tell me, how much did you win? Will it cover the broken crockpot? The one I use all the time? That I had to special order because they're not sold around here? Now, sweetie pie, I, uh... Correction, the one I used all the time? It's long gone, Bert. Shattered. All for the measly 20 gold you won in a lottery. I told you they were scams. And the lottery ticket cost 25 for Pete's sake, Bert. Why? Hold on, I got his voice wrong. Ollie? Sis? Hi, where's the hold up? What's going on? Hey, Olga. Bert. Smoking horses, you two. You back? Sorry, we didn't inform you ahead of time, Molly. We were kind of... indeposed. I have so much, so much to tell and scold you about, Big Brother. <laughs> but, not now. This game. Never with this game, sir. Any other game? Fine. Fine. Not with Stardew. Getting used to legs?
Okay, you don't need to look so haunted. I heard nothing. I did meet them. They seem like weird people. Which means I love them. What did she have? What, or like, did she get like a double leg transplant? Like what, what, what's happening here? We both should hurry up and go to her. Go see your daughter, damn it. Oh, so sweet baby girl. I, I don't know how to approach her now. Stop sulking and go to her. Damn straight. Yeah, no problem. Just tell me what you think of your legs. So you meet your daughter? Not see your daughter? When's the last time you saw her? When's the last time you saw her that you're meeting her? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna follow them. I need to see this. I need to know. Where am I? Henlow Mountain, hubby. Trying to fill a vape and also progress a story is a bitch and a half. Nine years ago. Where am I? I said I was coming with you. Where am I? How'd it go, Swift? Tell us everything, Swifty. it isn't she yep okay take two I hope this new song sounds all right with the higher octave my legs hurt got to hear people talk shit and gossip even heard two people talking shit about trans people so that was cool that is not cool that is so not cool do i gotta beat a bitch i will beat a bitch Still, I mean, you don't talk shit about people being trans. cut a bitch I will cut a bitch I don't know if I can open that in the stream I don't know if that's going to get me banned or something I'm going to put that down that didn't happen I'm just going to
I wish I could get money. Money would be nice. <laughs> More people heard the money would be nice, Majora, I know. Suddenly I feel like I should not have come along to watch this. I feel like I'm intruding. <laughs> My dear Lissa, you've grown so much. We. Oui. We're really sorry for leaving you behind all those years ago. Why is she like old time Southern? I have a newfound vengeance. Hey, hey, listen, Swift. Spite is what keeps the world turning, okay? So. We're really sorry. It's all right. I'm sure you had your reasons. I'm just happy you're both back. We have a lot of catching up to do. You sang beautifully, my dear. Well, I gotta call a friend real quick. Dude, nothing wrong with being a gremlin. I gotta call a friend. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stay unmuted because I think it'll be funny. This bitch. Why do you never answer the fucking phone when I need you? Oh, what do you mean? You always answer when, like, I have nothing important to talk to you about. But when I do, it's like you disappear off the face of the planet. What are you talking about? It's like some- I, call, I tried calling you yesterday because I had something important I needed to talk to you about. I called you on your phone, I called you on Snapchat, and I called you on Discord. When and did you call me? At, like, 2 in the morning. It said you were playing World of Warcraft, so I know you were up. I left my WoW open last night on my computer. Why the fuck would you do that? Because I I logged out, but I didn't exit. Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. How am I supposed I to know it. if I can contact you if you do shit like that? Well, I apologize. What was so important? Like, okay, morning. so do keep in mind that stream can hear you as we talk. But I had a very important question. Uh -huh. Because we've determined that I have a type when it comes to women. Okay. Damage people. Yeah. That's my type. Do I have a type, okay. physically speaking? No. No? I mean, maybe? I don't know. Like, you always tend to typically go after, I guess, the thicker women? Thick thighs save lives, you know? Yeah. And maybe one day they'll thick thighs will take mine. So like, hey. Yeah, well, it would be the way to go. Exactly. I came into this world. No, I can't. I didn't come into this world by the snatch. I was I was a tumor baby. Happy removal day, tumor baby. Yeah, 
You should have said that on my birthday, but you didn't. No, and to, instead I told you happy birthday. You did. You did call me. I will give you that. Which is more than I typically expect from you. Ouch. So fair. I say don't don't act offended. You are a forgetful piece of shit. But it's okay, because it's okay, because I accept and love you, despite that major character flaw. <laughs> oh yeah, did I tell you uh, what Maintenance said? No. Uh, so they showed up yesterday. Uh, they checked my stove out. Uh... The, and at first they were like, okay, so you're going to need a new stove. And I'm like, great. But then one of the guys was like, hold on, let me check the breaker box. He goes to check the breaker box. He says he thinks it's the breaker box. Because apparently the stove is only getting like half the wattage it needs or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, so we're going to have to replace that breaker. I go, cool. How long will that take? He goes, let me go see if we have the part in the shop. If we don't, we're going to have to order it. I go, cool, great. So they leave. He comes back about five minutes later. He goes, yeah, we don't have the part on site, so we're going to have to order it. I'm like, okay, how long will that take? He goes, well, it'll either be here tomorrow, Friday, or sometime next week. <laughs> I go, oh, great. So In a very indiscriminate amount of days. Yeah, it's like, so I'm either eating tomorrow <laughs> or a week from now. Awesome. Thanks, bud. So he's in here, he's packing up all their tools and stuff, and he goes, well, it may be even longer because it could still be the stove and the breaker is just masking another problem so once we replace the breaker we'll know if you need a new stove or not and i'm like okay how long will that take he goes well we definitely don't have a stove on site so we'd have to order that and that'll be about a week or two and i'm like okay so i'm eating tomorrow or like or next month or like two to three weeks from now got it thanks man he goes yeah uh, but we ordered that part. When it gets in, we'll come and fix and replace the breaker, and then we'll know where we're going from there. And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do in the meantime? <laughs> do you know your neighbors? N do I know my neighbors? There were other people living with you that could have introduced themselves to the neighbors. Don't you lie to me. Okay, that doesn't mean the neighbors know me. Mm, fair. Swift, that is the single greatest sentence that has ever been posted in my Twitch chat. What's that? I have no hate towards thin women. However, I am very much down with the thickness. <laughs> thickness is important, Swift. Abby, how would you classify yourself? Um, thick. Thick with an extra. I'd, I'd say you're thick with an extra side of C's. Probably. It's a lot of C's in that thick there. <laughs> Thanks. I think. You know, it's it's a compliment. The more C's you have in your thick, the thicker you are, and that just makes <coughs> the sexier you are. Some people are a snack, you a full course meal. <laughs> I Which, hate you. Why? <laughs> For making sense. <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, no, listen. Uh, listen, I, listen, here's the thing, Abby. You, you've attracted <coughs> me. You've attracted John. Two big, thick boys. Because... Uh. We are the people that appreciate a bigger meal. What in the fuck with that? <laughs> See, Swift, Swift gets it. He says if you ate the entire Thanksgiving dinner, he doesn't want it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Abby is the turkey, and I'd like to give her the stuffing. Yes! Shut 
up. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. I know you're fist bumping yourself in the air. Fuck off. Oh god, I'm so proud of that. You know who else would appreciate that? Who? John. John's at work. She's gonna leave the call. She's gonna do that anyways. I Abby have to doesn't. Go to work. Abby doesn't hang out with me. Come on, man. She's cooler than that. I have to that. go to work. Abby spends her time playing WoW. She doesn't have time for a you know casual gamer like me. You done. Um. No. I just wanted to let you know that I love you, and I appreciate you, and I think you're awesome. I love you, too. No, I appreciate you. No, I'm done. And I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, I have to get back to work. You've gotten a little arrogant. Um, I'm... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling myself today. I mean, hey, if I had titties like that, I'd feel myself every day. <laughs> God, I am on fire I'm today. Pr I'm pretty. I'm pretty stacked in the tit department. You're not wrong. That's my type. Stacked in the tit department. Stacked titties. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Listen. How, how unga and the bazungas was Jasmine? I can show you. I don't want to show. I don't want to be shown. Uh. Bigger than yours. Suck my ass. No, like sizably bigger than yours. Well, have fun living with back pains for the rest of your life. She did have back pains, yeah. The only thing streamers want are titties and bitties. You are totally right, Swift. Nothing else matters. How about personality? Abby, you know no. that you Abby, you know that personality matters to me. Yeah, I know. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> personality has to matter to me because, you know, I'm a very kind, gentle soul. Which actually works against me because I have no idea if I'm being mistreated or not. That's true. Which is why I anyway. have you. Adam, I gotta go back to work for real. I, my lunch is over. All right, love you. Be lame. Bye. Bye. I am not usually that on top of it with the fucking one-liners. That was... I've, that was an, I, I personally feel that was a strong showing, you know? I, I feel like I went out on the field, I gave it my all, and, you know, it paid off, you know? I, I really feel like I showed the crowd what I had to offer there. She's right there. Sophia! Hello. They deserve all the pets. I agree. That was cool.
<laughs> Roast me, Swift. Do it. Roast me. But I'm literally asking for it. <laughs> Aside from the gossipy transphobic bitches at work, how is the actual work itself, Swift? mushrooms. There are my mushrooms. I can neither confirm nor deny. Well, I can, but I won't. What's up, Kiara? Have you seen the uniforms for Corning and Faye at Pika's? They made them. They look so cute. Where you at? I met heaps. Kiara? Kiara's pretty cute. Mr. Magnus! There he is. Dude, you want to try this shroom I found? Evocation. Guys, I got a spell book. Guys, I can cast spells now. Guys, I have a wizard.
I don't remember how to use it. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look up how to use it. Guardium Leviosa, this dick. Is it? Is this what I'm thinking of? Okay. Oh! Who needs kids 22? Yeah. And maybe not assume I'm, you know, kid having edge. Just a thought. How the fuck do I do this? How do I do you? I wish to do the do. So I have the spell.
Honestly, I am right there with you, my guy. Man, this has been a weird stream. We've gone from talking about, you know, my daily struggles with apartment maintenance to thick women and how much better thick women are to talking about children. What's up, my guy? Thank you, my guy. Sure, Alex, sure. Maybe one day I'll be as strong as you. What's up, Sophia? I've never been to the mines before. I'm afraid of what I might find them. I have gone into the caves. I'm an adventurer. Goodbye.
Brad, I already talked to you on the phone. Let's call Kiara real quick. She says, What's up? She scheduled a hike down to Pelican this weekend. It's a good exercise. Just text her. Oh no, dude. Listen, you may not mean it in a simp way. I mean it in a simp way. Women are fucking pretty, okay? It is a fact of life. I'm not even afraid to admit it. I am Simp Lord Supreme. Bow before my power. that come from? Alright everybody, we must now remain completely silent until he is done with his ads. Welcome back. We were completely silent while we waited for you. Seemed like the right thing to do. I can... I understand the whole I've been fucked over too much to send thing. Because I have also been fucked over quite a lot in relationships. But for some fucking reason, I still believe in love. And it's weird. What's the fortune teller say? Oh, they very happy. We go into the mines. No! I take it back. There is no love in the world, because if there was, my batteries would not have died. Thus, minorly inconveniencing me to replace them. You 
gotta be open about your wants and desires in a relationship, my guy. You gotta put it all out there. You gotta wear your heart on your sleeve. I'm actually the last person you should be taking relationship advice from. Yeah, I've been there. My friends like to say that my shitty dating life stems from me being too nice. And I'm like, how the fuck does that work? That makes no fucking sense. And they're like, no, 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 it does. You just gotta think about it logically. And I'm like, well, okay, walk me through the walk me through this here. How is me being too nice what's fucking up my dating life? And they go. You don't get angry. You... Oh, don't do it. Oh, get fucking caught. You don't get angry. You don't talk about your problems because you think you're going to bug people. And you wear your heart on your sleeve, which constantly opens you up to be uh, used and manipulated. And I'm like... You should be open and honest with the people you are in a relationship with. You should wear your heart on your sleeve for those people. The entire point of dating is that you are putting yourself in a position that you can be hurt. That doesn't mean you don't do it. And they're like, yeah, and that would be fun. <laughs> My friends say that I'm too kind-hearted to be in a relationship. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's because I attract people that are broken and damaged. And I do. I do. I have a type. I, I attract, like, people with trauma and stuff. And I'm like, I don't really see what's wrong with that. And they're like, because you help them through the trauma, you piece them back together... And then they fucking leave. <laughs> like, well... Eh? I don't have a defense for that one, because that is... Historically speaking, that is accurate. Did my phone go off? It did. Ah. 
How do you feel about Disney movies? Right, but that doesn't tell me how you feel about them. That just tells me that you grew up watching them. There it is. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Okay. And what's your favorite color? Fuck it, I'm down. Man, who knew it was so easy to start dating people? What the fuck? here what just happened Was that? I can't. I can't actually date you at the moment, Swift. I have to steal Siren from Majora first, and build a bunker so that me and her can sit in it all day, every day, playing video games, while Majora. <laughs> Not that desirable, Swift. Actually, that's a lie. I have been told I am very good at getting into relationships. No, no, no. She's not. She's not leaving Majora. Me and her are just building a bunker and existing in it for the rest of eternity, playing video games and refusing to interact with the outside world because fuck society. Exactly. I've had one conversation with her and she's already like one of my favorite people because she's basically me. People suck. Siren is an incredibly lovely human. I don't know about us dating Swift. Maybe we should like get to the point where like we can video call or Snapchat each other before we start that shit.
Also, maybe I should get back into a regular cycle of taking my meds before I start thinking about that shit. A job would probably also be a good idea. <laughs> this is the moment. Right now. Right here. Right now. In your Twitch stream. Make it official. Change your Facebook status? Oh god, I just showed my age. Mountain hubbies might actually become the real hubbies. That would be a fucking plot twist. <laughs> Just for the troll. <laughs> Shit, I thought we were always in a bromance. You are my bro. And if a bro can't give another man a bro job, are they really bros? Just change your Facebook relationship status to it's complicated because there is no bromance option. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I fucking dare you. Wait, really? That's a thing on Facebook now? do that your targeted ads are gonna be so weird huh Facebook keeping up with the times I guess good for them <laughs> let's do it let's fucking let's fucking do it This is so much more important than stream at the moment. Plus, I'm just sitting around waiting. <laughs> In a civil union! <laughs> what if you changed it to engaged?
Fuck it. Do open relationship. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. <laughs> we... We going, we going on the, we going official. <laughs> That's fucking great. That is fucking great. Oh, that's gonna be funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, I love it. I fucking love it. It's fantastic. to steal your identity. And it's a bit late for me to be learning your last name. I mean, we're already in a relationship. <laughs> Me and Swift are now in an open relationship. It's an open relationship because I got to, uh, I, I still got to steal a siren from you and take her to a bunker where we can lock ourselves in and never interact with, uh, with society again, because fuck society. No, 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 no. she'll still be your wife. I ain't trying to take your wife from you. We're just going to spend the rest of eternity in a bunker so we don't have to talk to people. Exact, it's borrowing. And don't worry, I plan to steal you too, Majora. What's up?
I'm just a horny guy, okay? Well, if I remember correctly from Minecraft, there's me, you, Mub, Sonaris, Haley. I could have sworn there was one other person in that Minecraft server. I don't know if they did or not. So we'll we'll put Kanan down as a maybe. Uh, we got Majora. We got Siren. So me, you, Sonaris, Haley, Mub, Majora, Siren. We're up to seven. There's gotta be more, right? I know Siren's down, because I mentioned to her me getting in Majora's ass, and she was all for it. So, she's definitely down. I think Majora might have raised some, uh, some complaints. <laughs> Do you not remember the Discord VC that we were in? Me getting your ass came up so much. There was also discussions of you getting pegged. <laughs> Oh. Gotcha. You're watching YouTube when you could be watching me? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it got smoky in here. when you're waiting for the moonlight jellies to get here. So how's it going? Cool, cool, cool. Weird, but cool. We gotta check something real quick.
I'm gonna head out to the uh, to the beach now. I don't judge, man. <laughs> to each their own, you know? Finally, I can go watch the Moon Knight Jellies. Jelly, 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 jelly. Jelly, 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 jelly. Worth it. You'll ever see. I don't know. I've seen a lot of beautiful things. There's so many people here. Why can't it be both? You know what I mean? Sleep or working on my research. Mr. Aguar insists on going, and I'm not gonna make him walk back alone. What the fuck is Mr. Aguar? Where's Mr. Aguar? If I weren't a human, I'd want to be a jellyfish. Fair enough, I guess. Did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are best blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the Luna Loons, or Moonlight Jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Directly into the ocean? Perhaps it explains the Luna Loons. Where's. Where's Kiara? Where my buddy Kiara at? you are. How did I not see you there? The seas get more polluted every year. She's not wrong. Where the fuck is Lewis? Wait, that's right. He's right down here. Yes, let's do it. Launch the boat! Launch the boat!
jellyfish. 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 The glow of summer has faded. Now, and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here. It's the end of the season. It seems like a great place to leave off. So, Majora, thanks for coming to hang out. Swifty, thanks for coming to entertain me as always. And I will see you guys next time.